am I the only one who makes promises to my kids hoping they'll forget? Like, pick up your room and you'll get donuts tomorrow, fully hoping they will forget I ever said it. Apparently I promised my kids eight bucks a piece for something a while back and they're hounding me about it. Dad, you said you'd give us eight dollars. Where's our money? Give me my money. They're chatting me up about it as they should because I promised I gotta deliver. So let me ask you, do you trust God to deliver on his promises? Do you hound him about them? Do you know them? His word is full of them. But what good's a promise if it's not kept, right? Which is why I love Joshua 21, 45. God had made a lot of promises to the people of Israel over a lot of years. And there were days when they probably felt as though his promises were like my donut promises. He thinks we're gonna forget after all this wondering. But in Joshua 21, 45, this is what we read. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Every one was fulfilled. Every single one fulfilled. God doesn't make promises and hope we forget about them. If he said it, he'll do it. Numbers 23, 19 says that God is not a man that he would lie. And ask the question, has he ever made a promise and not done it? No. That's why I love to hunt for promises when I read God's word. His promises were true when he first shared them, and they're still true for us today.